So this is my old heavy lift twin cargo plane. And tonight I've got it set up for night flying. I've got a strip of LEDs under each half of the wing, some blue and red lights on the nose so I can tell which way is forward. And then underneath I have a Stratus LEDs 100 watt module with a big parabolic reflector on the front. Now this parabolic reflector is obviously an aerodynamic nightmare, but it takes the light from that 100 watt chip and directs it into a spotlight beam. I've got a five cell 2700 milliamp hour lipo on top to power the LED and the rest of the plane is running on a four cell 3000 milliamp hour lipo. There's hardly any ground clearance in between the parabolic reflector and the ground so hopefully it doesn't hit when I land. Yeah, I don't know what I was thinking when I put these nav lights on, because I can't see anything other than just a glowing dot in the sky. I'm looking through the viewfinder here, and I think the issue with this place is that it's too flat. I need like a like a hill to light up so that it's easier to see the light beam. Whoa, I'm crashing. Oh, that was close. Okay, this is sketchy. I'm turning the ground light back on. Damn, that was harsh. So now I'm out here at this baseball diamond with a hill in the background so you can see the light much better. Okay, taking off. It's really hard to tell which angle the plane is tilted at. So I'm going to try and get closer to the hillside here. Wow, that is really bright. Yeah, this definitely takes some getting used to. I'm sort of getting the hang of it, I think. Switching the light off and back on. The unfortunate thing is when the plane is coming towards you, it creates a, a blind spot in your vision. And then when the plane turns away and you're trying to look at it, that blind spot is directly where the plane is because you're looking at it. Okay, take two. Oh, wow. That's what happens when you don't take off in time and the LED smacks into the grass. <laughs> Doesn't look like there's any damage to the module. These things are pretty durable. Oh, wow. It broke a chunk out of the foam behind the... Oh, geez, that's bad. <laughs> Oh no. I wonder if I can tape this back together. Okay, got it fixed up. This is take three. I'm gonna try and illuminate a different hillside a little bit further away. And over that way. Wow. Uh-oh. Got pretty low there. Like straight above me right now. Flying towards the mountain. That hill's pretty far away too. I'd say that's like quarter of a mile away. And it's illuminating it really brightly. I mean, it's obviously not quarter of a mile away of the plane right now, but it's probably quarter of a mile away of here. And even when the plane was over me it was still illuminating the hillside quite a bit you really have to trust the plane while flying when you can really 
only see a dot in the sky and you can't tell which way is forward or backwards or side to side. You just kind of have to guess which way it's pointing. Oh, there we go. Hit the light again. Damn it. Jeez, I was trying to fly by and I was lower than I thought and then the light just clipped the ground. So I bet it broke out all the foam that I just taped back in. Oh yeah, that's bad. All the same foam. <laughs> the exact pieces that broke out the first time. Wow, I should have mounted this light at the top or something. Going over to the plane. Plane looks to be fine. Other than the fact that the half of the fuselage is missing on the bottom, but oh well. Years and years ago, I remember putting a 25 watt halogen floodlight on the slow trainer plane I built, which was just a little trainer that weighed under a pound. And I thought that was like the coolest thing ever. So this is a big step up from that. Well, even though we broke a lot of stuff, I'd say that was still a successful test to see what a 100 watt LED with a parabolic reflector would look like on an airplane. It could definitely have some application for FPV at night or something like that. Anyways, if you want more info on these LEDs and the reflector, check out the links in the description. And I also recently started a Patreon, so if you want to support these videos financially, uh, check out that link too. Anyways, that's it for tonight. Thanks for watching. Bye.